Good morning. Got a lot on the agenda for today. The first things first, we're going to be feeding everyone right off the bat. Oh, and Lily's joining us as well. Hi, Lily. What are you doing? Hair rings looking good. This is it for me, everyone. Aaron? Hmm. What's happened here? Are you boys making an escape attempt? Was it you? Lily. Always exploring that one. She's not even a year old. There she is. Yeah. Make you nervous, bud? What is she saying? Where's my feed? Put me down, lady. I want my feed. 
feed. <laughs> All right, let's get your feed. Morning chores are done. That's interesting lighting on my face there. Um, and we are headed north for an appointment at 1.30 today. And it's um, kind of an opportunity for us to use the goats to work with a church camp. They've got some steep slopes there that they want to have cleared. And I think it would be a good opportunity for the goats to go to work. And it's not too far away, which is really good for us. So we're going to head up there now. I probably won't be able to record, at least this time around. Um, so we'll be talking and discussing a lot of kind of the details of our operation with them. Um, but uh, we're going to head there now. It looks like it's a great use uh, for the goats. But they'll they'll be very, very, very useful in that area that they can't thought, really quite get into. We were kind of hoping that we could put them there in the next couple of weeks and kind of help alleviate some of the feet or the hay bill right now that's been racking up. But unfortunately, it's just too dormant right now. So we're going to schedule them sometime in the springtime, maybe summer. Uh, but it, it's good because it's not too far from where we are. The church camp there is, is really old and they're working on refurnishing a lot of the buildings there and kind of reclaiming some of these areas that have been overgrown. I wasn't able to record anything right now, but uh, hopefully you know, in a few months time we'll be on site and you'll get to see everything that we're talking about. You can just imagine you know, <laughs> a ravine and very brushy areas is really where the goats will be concentrating. And very steep and rocky. So um, we're now going to head over to the other property and check on things over there.
little goat by the gate there. Her name is Mia. And <laughs> when we got here, she was hanging out on this side with Rhett. And she's debating right now on slipping through there again. It's pretty funny. Rhett is super friendly though. He does not mind the goats. They've been in here with him before, so. I'm not worried if she decides to come over here and steal some of his tasty coastal hay in that bin. Yeah. I need to top off some of these water troughs. Get the water on. And it's not in the trough. There's Mia. Mia, what you doing? Zoe and I are gonna, I can't even see right now. Zoe and I are going to walk what we call the back pasture, which is that way. And then Carolyn's gonna walk the windmill pasture. We're checking the fence lines again to see if anyone has stuck their head through and gotten caught. Hopefully not, but you never know. Got a few casually lounging on the hillside here. I'm hoping that they're not going to follow me back here. Because it looks like most of them have already come up for the night, but... Yeah, it looks like they're going to stay this time, which is good. So I'm going to try to sneak back here quickly so they don't see me. And then the whole herd will be back here and... They'll get mad and cranky and everybody be yelling. So looks like we're we've snuck past them. So he's on our way. The reason we do this is these little this woven wire has these squares that are about uh about a foot. And this is about, I don't know five inches here and they will stick their heads through and turn and then they get caught on their horns and they can't get back out again um, I haven't had one do it in a few since since I've been checking them because normally my dad is the one checking these guys I think I can hear someone oh yep yeah, it's always found them right there yep Caught in the fence. All right. Not that I'm excited that we have one, but. <clears throat> this is definitely why we walk the fence line every night. Hey, buddy. You okay? Oh, it's all right. So we don't scare him. Goodness. All right, let's see if we can get you out of here. Hold on. Take him back, Zoe. Go get him. She's taking him back to the corrals. Well, that's why we walk the fences every night. And actually that was at the end of my walk, so everything else is clear. That did turn into a really nice sunset. Let's see if I can... That's better. Now you can see it. <laughs> 